Okay, let's go and build our first Power Pivot model. Suppose that the IT department has given you a file, an Excel file, that has some sales order data. This file is called Reseller Sales Source, can be saved on a network share, or can be sent to you by email. Let's double click to open it in Excel and see what's inside. Now there is re really nothing exciting in this file. There is no formatting, no colors even. It includes some typical sales order data. Order date, reseller ID, sales order number, line number, or a quantity, unit price, and so forth. So your task as a business analyst is to build a Power Pivot model to analyze this data. Let's go ahead and close this file. And let's open the chapter to start uh, Excel file, which is where we're going to implement our Power Pivot model. Now, before we forget, let's go and save this file as chapter 2 finish, so we don't overwrite the original file which comes with the book source. For the time being, we're going to ignore the reseller and the date tabs. We're going to come to this later on. We're going to click on the Power Pivot menu and then on the Power Pivot window. The Power, window, the power Pivot window represents the Power Pivot modeling environment, which is now empty because I haven't imported any data yet. Now, because Power Pivot is, is implemented as an add-in to Excel, I will have, as you can see, there are two windows in your taskbar, the original Excel window and the Power Pivot window. Now, let's go ahead and import some data. Since I'm going to be importing from Excel, I'm going to click from Other Sources button. And in the Table Import Wizard, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select the Excel file option. As a friendly connection name, I'm going to enter cells, and then I'm going to click the Browse button to navigate to my source file, which, whose data I want to import. Since my file, the first row in my file represents the column headers, I'm going to click the Use First Row as Column Headers checkbox. Let's click on Test Connection to make sure that uh, we can connect to this file, and let's click Next. Since the source file has data only in the first worksheet, I'm going to check the first checkbox, and I'm going to specify a friendly name, a sales, which later on is going to become the name for my table in Power Pivot. I can click on Preview and Filter button to preview my source data to see what data actually I'm importing. And then I'm going to click Finish, to actually start the actual import process. As you can see, Power Pivot imports some 13,000 rows. Let's click Close. And Power Pivot actually creates a table, uh, and that table is called Cells. So now I can go ahead and start analyzing data in my table to build perhaps Power P uh, Pivot, uh, pivot uh, table and Pivot chart reports. But let's say that I want to have some additional data, some additional uh, reference data that would let me analyze this uh, sales order data by additional subject areas, such as reseller and dates. Now, if this information was provided to me by the IT department, I can uh, import these files as well. But let's say that this is not the case, so I have to maintain this data manually uh, in Excel. So let's go and click on Switch to Workbook to go back to Excel. And as you can see, the Chapter 2 file has two tabs, Reseller and Date. The Reseller tab is where I maintain a list of my resellers. So I have each, each reseller, each row corresponds to uh, a reseller. And the reseller has an ID, phone, business type, name, and so forth. And then the Date tab, this is where I maintain my dates. So the first column, the Date column, represents the individual dates. Then I have a Month column to let me, so I can analyze data by months, quarters, years, and so forth. So let's go ahead and import this uh, data into Power Pivot so I can use it in my, in my reports. I'm going to click the Reseller tab, and I'm going to click Create Link Table. 
because this Excel list has headers, I'm going to check that checkbox. I'm going to click OK. And the Power Pivot imports that data into uh, my Power Pivot model. Let's right click on table 1 and rename that table as reseller because that essentially represents my reseller list. And as you can see, this table has a special linked um, icon to tell me that the data is linked uh, back to Excel. All right, let's go to Excel and do the same for the Date tab. Go to the Power Pivot window, click on Create Link Table, and uh, click OK to import that Date Table into Power Pivot. And let's rename the table to Date. So now I have all my data, I have three tables, and I can go ahead and create reports. But before I do that, I have to tell Power Pivot how, this two, uh, how these three tables are related to each other. So let's take a moment to understand this. Let's go back to the sales table, and as you can see, the first column is the order date column. And if I go to the date table, I can see that the first column has also order dates. It's a date column. So this column actually matches the order date column in my uh, sales table. And the second column in the sales table is reseller ID. But it so happened that in the reseller table I have also a matching column. This is very important because if I don't have a matching column I won't be able to actually uh, relate uh, these tables but I do so let's go ahead and create relationships I'm gonna right click on the order date um, column header and I'm going to say create relationship and I have to specify what's going to be my related lookup table and what's gonna be my related lookup column and then I click the create button to create my first relationship then I'm going to right click the reseller ID column and I'm going to create a relationship to the reseller table on the reseller ID column. To verify the uh, relationships, let's click on the design menu and click on manage relationships. And here are my two relationships. Again, from the sales table, order, it, order the date column to the date table and date column and then from the reseller ID column in the sales table to the reseller ID column in the reseller table. That's pretty much everything that I need to start analyzing data.